What's good, collective? Thank you for tuning in to my Andrew Tarot. It's your girl, Mimi. Okay, y'all, something is going on in the fucking universe, okay? I don't fucking know what it is, but I've been asleep, like, all day. I've been having crazy-ass fucking dreams. So we about to go ahead and start off with the Wisdom Oracle. Um, This reading will be for the collective. If you click on this video, you will find something in this video that resonates, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into it, yeah, with the Wisdom Oracle. And see what Spirit has for us, because I, Spirit clearly wants to tell us something, you feel me? And I'm sure I'm not the only one who's been waking up between, like, 4 and 5 and 6 o'clock in the morning. Like, normally I sleep in, but these last couple of days, I've been waking up at 5 o'clock, like, early as fuck. And mainly, that's the time where Spirit uh, sends downloads, you know, um, between 3 and, like, 5 o'clock. I keep seeing loyal heart in the reverse. All right, let's get into it. Yeah, what the fuck do spirit have for us today, y'all? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. We got clean it up and time for a fucking nap. Ain't that crazy? Because I've been taking naps all fucking day like literally i'll wake up and i'll go back to sleep i'll wake up and i'll go back to sleep but i feel like that spirit um spirit may be oh, spirit may be communicating with you through your dreams you know um we all experience downloads and answers through our dreams so spirit may be sending you dreams of things that you need to change within yourself um maybe you need to change the way you think maybe there's things that you need to let go of that happened in the past because in my dreams i they were like weird as fuck you know but this may resonate with you too it's time to clean up your thought patterns it's time to let go of things that happened to you in the past things that hurt you in the past you know like you've been through it so as long as you learn from the situation then there is no reason for you to go through it again because when you know better you do better you feel me so spirit may be literally forcing y'all to go to sleep so that he could communicate with y'all and tell y'all what it is that y'all need to work on within yourself okay All right, Spirit, give me more. What's this? Loyal heart in the reverse. I kept seeing this shit when I was shuffling, okay? So, Spirit may be wanting you to let go of a past relationship. You may be having dreams about your ex. Dreams about someone who really broke your heart. And Spirit, Spirit wants you to take that loyalty away from that person. This person doesn't want to love you, so why are you continuously loving this person? Spirit wants you to walk away from a past relationship that pretty much did nothing but but broke your heart. Spirit wants you to think about everything that you learned while dealing with that person. Think about it. Analyze it. Let it go and move forward. Spirit wants you to forgive this person and take your loyalty away because it's not meant for you to be with this person. This person is not even being loyal. You know, this person was never loyal to you, you know? So spirit wants you to go ahead and go towards your peace. You have to let go of this past relationship because you may be traumatized from what has happened in that relationship. You know, um, me personally, I'm literally traumatized from my last relationship. Like, I have PTSD. You know, like, maintenance can't even come knock on my door without me having a fucking anxiety attack. You feel me? So, spirit wants you to literally just let it go and move towards your peace because it's more out there than just being, having anxiety attacks. You know, like, feeling like someone is coming to harm you. You feel me? You need to wake up to your gifts and do what it is that you love to do. So maybe it's something that you always wanted to do, always wanted to become that actually brings you peace while you're doing it, you know? So spirit wants you to pretty much like 
clean up this mess. You know, like you can even like channel it in your music or something, but spirit wants you to take your loyalty away from this person, go towards your peace and do what it is that you love that brings you peace. Um, spirit is also saying that you have peace coming into your life. You feel me? Because you're getting out of this feeling of being orphaned. You know, like you've probably been alone for five months, alone for five years, you know, but you are coming out of this way of thinking. Like you were literally going through a PTSD. Like you were literally traumatized by this relationship. You know, like you may have been in hermit mode by yourself literally like staying in the house not really hanging out with nobody for years because of the memories from this past relationship um i don't know what this person did to you but spirit wants you it's time to go it's time to walk away from this person you know and the way that you're going to receive these messages from spirit is to literally go to sleep take a nap you know um go to sleep and take a nap. Like if y'all have trouble, um, remembering y'all dreams, me personally, when just to make sure I remember my dreams, I smoke before I go to sleep. I smoke weed or Benadryls. Take one Benadryl. Don't take, I mean, you can take two. I take two because I have allergies, but for, for people who don't have allergies, just take one Benadryl and you'll, remember your dreams so let's go ahead and get to the Monaro tarot deck just so we can get um just so we can see what else there has for us before we move on to the romance angels because this is clearly a love reading this love has literally traumatized the fuck out of you and it's time for you to let it go. It's time for you to move forward with your life because whatever it is that happened in this relationship, it literally puts you in hermit mode. And it literally, like, you stopped your whole life from going in the direction that you wanted to go because you had to heal from this trauma. You had to heal from this trauma. You were probably dealing with a karmic or a distorted twin flame. But this person did you dirty. All right, spirit. Show me what I need to see. Queen of fire. So it's like, I feel like that you are the queen of fire energy. You know, like, you're very passionate, you're very beautiful, but this person, I feel like that this relationship that you were in, they pretty much only wanted you for your sex or for the things that you did for this person. You know, like, you were probably, like, literally, like, a great woman towards this man, and this person was pretty much playing on your emotions, playing on your passion, playing on how it is that you felt. Knight of Water is Knight of Cups. This person was definitely playing on your emotions. This person knew that they can pretty much control you by controlling your emotions, by controlling how you felt. So this, this person would probably like literally hurt you, break you down, just to pretty much make you love them more just so you can give more to attempt to make this person love you more. You know, this, this person was very childish. This person was, um, um, this person was an emotional manipulator and this person was always coming in and out of your life, in and out of your life. But that was this person's way of controlling you. A of fire. This person loved how passionate you were. I may be talking to a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but you were very creative as well. And I feel like that this this person would like take your ideas and try to do it themselves. You know, like you may have had a book with your goals. When you wasn't at the house, this person would take a picture of your goals and try to do it themselves 
and make it seem like it was their idea. So this person was literally like using you pretty much for your brain, using you for your passion. What else, Spirit? Yeah, Spirit wants you to take your patience away from this person. Spirit really wants you to literally take your heart out of this situation because it's not going nowhere. Like you pretty you you already don't fuck with this person. You know, this person already left you traumatized. You literally just need to forget about this person. Forget about how you felt about this person because that person never felt the same way towards you. Give me more spirit. The devil in reverse. Spirit wants you to release this. This was a toxic relationship. This was a toxic friendship. This person had a, this was a karmic soul tie. I believe that you are dealing with a karmic or a distorted masculine who is in their karmic energy. And they pretty much literally just came in to play on your emotions and take from you. Seven of Earth, you are investing in this person. And you may have felt like this person was invested in you. But honestly, I feel like that this person had you working extra hard to invest in them. This person may have, like, been hitting on you, too. This is another reason why you got PTSD. Because this person would assault you physically and mentally. This person liked it when you were, like, in your head. This person wanted you to always, like, this This person had you wrapped around their finger. And if this person felt like that you had your mind on anything else outside of them, it was going to be a problem. It was going to be a problem. This person was hitting on you. This person was beating on you. And that's why you literally closed off to the world. That's why you have PTSD. Because this person was beating on you. And you probably never been through nothing like that in your life. You never been through no shit like that in your life. But it's time to, to, to put an end to this cycle. This person probably don't even want to put an end to this cycle. I feel like that this person is still like playing on your energy. You know, this person probably comes to your dreams and shit and pretty much reminds you of what it is that they did to you. It's like this person wants to keep you stuck energetically. So let's go ahead and get some romance angels because this is clearly talking about a past relationship. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Thirteen thirty-three was just on the clock. Release your ex. I cannot make this shit up. Spirit wants you to release this person. The only way that you're going to be able to gain that peace within yourself, be able to do what it is that brings peace to you, is you have to let go of this ex. You have to accept what it is that they did to you. You have to find peace within this situation. Yes, of course, you'll still be hurt because... You really love this person. And this person was pretty much playing on your emotions, physically abusing you. Like, Spirit wants you to release this person because there's no more chemistry. <clears throat> it ain't that much chemistry in the world for a motherfucker to be around here putting their hands on you. This ain't chemistry. This is the opposite of chemistry. This is like physical, uh, fatal attraction type shit. This is beyond chemistry. Let your friends help you. You know, like maybe you just need to talk talk with your friends. Spend more time with your friends. Get out the house. You know, get your mind off of this person. Get your mind off of this person. Spirit wants you to pretty much get to know yourself all over again. 
get to know new suitors, you know, like go out there and date. Do something to get your mind off of it, but make sure that you love yourself first. Love yourself first and let go. Uh, accept what happened because addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Like you may be codependent on thinking about what, what happened in this relationship because this is something that you've never experienced before. And it's like lingering. You have to let go of control issues. And that's what it is that you are doing. Once you understand that you can't allow this energy to linger in your energy, you'll be good. Stay stay optimistic about your love life and trust that everything is going to work out for you. So let's go ahead and get some moonology before we close out this reading. I don't want to be too long. I got to finish folding my clothes. Put everything away. Make sure y'all do y'all spring cleaning. It's a lot of pollen here in Atlanta. So keep your windows closed. It's hot as fuck, but just turn on the air. Because at night, a bitch can barely fucking breathe. I'm surprised I'm even able to sleep and have dreams. All right, let's see what the moonology got for us. Thank you, Spirit. The, the energy is gaining momentum. Expect powerful change. So I, as, as long as you listen to spirit and do what it is that spirit wants you to do, your energy is gaining momentum. Powerful change is going to occur in your life. I, I feel like divine timing is here. It's time to release negativity. You have to let go of the past. You, you have to heal your anxiety. You have to heal your PTSD. I don't... You ain't got to go talk to no fucking professional. I feel like that you should talk to, to yourself and save your motherfucking money because we all have the power to heal ourselves. Your commitment is being tested. As long as you get yourself through this, then divine timing is at play. Like, spirit is going to come and bless you. So, thank y'all for tuning in. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I love y'all.